All right, so this is gonna be a little modification video and hopefully help other guys out that are gonna be doing this do-it-yourself Hemi conversion uh, with the eight speed. This is the eight HP 70 out of a um, newer Dodge 1500 four wheel drive. What I did is I took the adapter off the backside of the transmission. This does come with the transmission when you get the four wheel drive transmission. And this is what the transfer case bolts to. So we're gonna have to modify this adapter. So I took it off to make it a little easier. Uh, the area that's red, lined out in red, I'm going to have to grind to clearance the case on the Atlas. And then we're going to go from there. All right, so now that we got everything ground, and you see where I ground it, it's all nice and cleaned up. Um, took probably about a sixteenth of an inch off, not very much. Uh, just enough to clearance the case. Uh, made sure, kept double checking it and everything and making sure everything clears nice. Um, next thing is, is making sure that our depth is correct um, on the... Um, output shaft of the transmission to this transfer to the Atlas four speed transfer case. Um, this little stuff will also need to be done as well with the Rubicon case and then possibly the stock case. Um, there'll be some other videos that you'll find out there from Jeep Speed that are also doing this. Um, I'm actually currently doing their kit. Um, this is, I'm not sure if it is the first do it yourself eight speed um, or you know if there's a couple others that other guys have already done. Um, but I know Todd's been really uh, doing some awesome stuff on this and really stepping up the innovative projects on these Jeeps. So anyhow, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to get some marking compound. I'm going to mark up the output shaft on the transmission so I can double check the depth on the splines on the Atlas. Um, I did already mock it up and everything bolts right together. Everything lines right up like it's supposed to. There's no gaps. Everything was cinched right up with no binding. But um, I still want to check the actual engagement of how much engagement of splines we got. So that way I know that we're getting either full engagement or half engagement. So it's kind of a good thing to know all that stuff as well. All right, so for you guys that don't have marking compound, this is another way of doing it. Use a good amount of grease and just put it on the edge with a pretty good like lip on it. Not all the way down on there. Make sure the splines are clean. That way you can actually see where the grease goes in contact. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lift this transfer case up, shove it on there, throw three of the bolts on, you know, throw some bolts on there, tighten this sucker down, and then uh, spin it. And after that, pull it back apart and see what we got. All right, so check the uh, spline engagement. We ended up getting full spline engagement of the Atlas onto the output shaft of the transmission. So this is a, a JK specific Atlas, by the way, that I am using. Um, so there's no modifications that have to be done to this transfer case to bolt to an 8 HP 70 Dodge 1500 four wheel drive transmission. So this is out of a 2018. Um, so I hope this little bit uh, helped you guys out of what needed to be done uh, to make this Atlas work. All right, so the Atlas is on there. All mocked up, everything's ready to rock and roll. So everything fits well, everything lines up. Just that one little light modification we had to do. So I uh, do appreciate everybody joining and checking out this little how-to video on to clearance the 8 HP 70 uh, Dodge Transmission. This is the 8-speed. Uh, to accept a four-speed Atlas that is JK specific. So absolutely nothing has to be done to the Atlas. Just that one little section of the adapter of this right here in the middle between the transmission and the transfer case. This adapter does come with the transmission when you get the transmission. So, but uh, so that way everybody knows that's what it takes. Not too bad. It's gonna be one sweet setup when it's all done. So thanks for joining and Appreciate you guys checking out the uh, little how-to video of uh, making things a little easier for everybody. On uh, Again, putting an Atlas 4-speed on the back of an 8HP 70. So, Adventures of Sarge, see you on the trail.